Hey everyone, it's Scott here from the Fragrance Channel. Scott Aromatico, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me today. It really means the world to me that you took time out of your busy schedule to join me to listen to me talk about fragrances. So thank you so much. You could have been doing anything or could have been anywhere, but the fact that you take time out of your schedule to talk fragrances with me is so special to me and I thank each and every one of you. All right, without any further ado, Let's go ahead and dive right in. You watch your favorite fragrance YouTuber, right? TLTGs, Red Alessence. Let's see, who else? You might watch Chaos Fragrances, maybe Demi Rawling, I don't know, Jeremy Fragrance. Who knows? There's so many good ones out there. Gent Sense. But you watch your favorite fragrance YouTuber, your favorite influencer, and you're like, man, the hype is real on that fragrance. I really, really want that fragrance. So you do your homework, right? You just got done watching the review and you've got some good information, but you still want to do your homework, right? Good comments, good vibes. The hype is real, right? So you go on Fragrantica and you look at the notes. You're like, okay, like the note breakdown. The notes are amazing. Then you scroll on down to the comments. And you're like, wow, one good comment after another. Well, there's a troll there, but that's okay. There's only, there's always a few trolls down the comments and you're like, okay, this is a great fragrance. The notes seem to match up. If your favorite YouTuber seems to like it and you're like, okay, this is the fragrance for me, right? So you go all the way to the store or who knows, maybe you buy it online, whatever the case may be, you spray the fragrance. You might even get a decant. You're like, oh, this is so great. I love this fragrance and you purchase it. You get home, you spray it and then it's awesome. It's amazing. You love it. It is so amazing you did your homework you're so proud the fragrance is awesome but then dun, 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 the missus doesn't like it the significant other doesn't like it they smell it and it smells like garbage they absolutely hate your fragrance and man is it a letdown you're so excited you're so proud of yourself you picked out your favorite fragrance but your wife doesn't like it so I have some fragrances like that. I thought I did my homework. I thought I knew what I liked. I thought I knew what she liked. Brought it home. So proud because I thought it smelled intoxicating and my wife hated it. So today I'm going to be talking about five fragrances that I love but my wife can't stand. All right. Now guys, before you start hurling the insults, start trolling, become a hater because I know there's a lot of haters out there. These are just her opinion. I still have the fragrances. They don't get worn a lot, but I still have them because who knows, maybe they'll grow on her and she might like them down the line. And I'm just a collector and a hoarder anyway. So here we go. The first fragrance on the list that she cannot stand was this one right here, Paco Rabanne's Phantom. This one was on the hype train. So many people were talking about this fragrance. And I knew I had to have it. As soon as I saw it, I bought it in the store. I paid full retail for it. I know. And uh, I just loved it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a sci-fi buff. I love science fiction. I love my Star Wars. I love all that kind of stuff. Star Trek, whatever the case may be. And so I was like, robots. And let's face it, I'm going to be 50 here, guys, in a couple weeks. And I love nostalgia. So this kind of reminds me of a toy I had when I was a kid. Whatever, rock 'em, sock 'em, robots, you name it. It's very nostalgic, and I thought the bottle was cool. And uh, I like the idea behind it because it's a refillable bottle, so you don't have to throw it away. And then if you put your cell phone on top here, it definitely interacts with your phone. So I was like, this is a cool purchase. This is awesome. But then comes the moment where I spray it. Yeah, and uh, she just didn't like it, and neither did I. I thought I did. I thought I liked it. I thought I was doing my homework because I love lavender. And let me tell you, this fragrance has a lot of lavender, a lot of lavender and a lot of citrus and a lot of lemon, as a matter of fact. And, you know, there's some apple in here and there's some vanilla, but it's very, very sugary sweet with the vanilla and very, very sweet with the lavender. And there's just between the vanilla and the earthy notes, it just didn't work for me and it just didn't work for my wife. I liked it at first, but then when she said she hated it, then I think she kind of influenced me and I don't like it as well. To me, this is just like a clubbing fragrance, very juvenile. That's how my wife feels about it too. She just kind of thinks it's too juvenile for me 
you know, she's okay with, with sweet fragrances, but this one's kind of sickly sweet. But then you mix it with that earthiness in it, and uh, it just didn't work for her, and it just doesn't work for me. So now my son wears it all the time. So that's that, just kind of a juvenile fragrance, Paco Rabanne. So that's the first fragrance on my wife's list that she just can't stand. All right, guys, another fragrance on my wife's list that she is not a big fan of, and I liked it right away. I thought it was an artistic fragrance, but uh, now I'm not so sure. You know, upon second sniff, I don't like it so much as well either. Who knows? Maybe my wife has a lot of influence on me. It's this one right here by Machino called Toy Boy. Another kind of, you know, uh, infantile, juvenile looking bottle. You know, and that's not to say it's not whimsical or cute, but uh, these two right here kind of look like something that would be in a toy chest, right? But uh, this one right here, just uh, got to be honest with you, I was intrigued by the bear. So I picked it up and there was a lot of hype with this one. Let's go ahead and spray it and I'll tell you why my wife doesn't like it. Good atomizer. You know, I'm not one of those guys who thinks fragrances have gender. Fragrances know no gender. Guys can wear ladies fragrances and ladies can wear guys fragrances. But man, this one really, really, the florals are amped up, especially that rose note. This one really, really leans feminine for me, and it just, it just doesn't work. And it wasn't working for my wife, and I think it's that flax note in here. She wasn't a big fan of it because it, it kind of comes off, I don't know, it just kind of comes off kind of foul smelling. I, I'm not a big fan of that flax note, um, and I'm not a fan of a lot of feminine leaning florals. And, and I know she isn't. My wife doesn't wear a lot of ladies' fragrances. In fact, she steals from me a lot. I should probably do a video on the fragrances that she steals from me that she wears the most. I could easily make that a video. A lot of my fragrances have big dents in them, not just because of me, but because my wife steals a good deal of the men's fragrances. What about you guys? Do you find that your ladies like men's fragrances better, or are they okay with women's fragrance? Let me know down in the comments below. But what do you guys think about this one? There's something off-putting about it that my lady just didn't like. I don't know if it's the magnolia mixed with the rose or the clove is coming across too strong, but it's a little bit cloying, and uh, for that reason, she's not a fan. And so this kind of sits in my closet collecting dust, but who knows, maybe one day we'll come back to it and it'll grow on us. We shall see. All right, this next one is probably not a surprise to you guys. I think a lot of you guys, even you, are not a fan of this fragrance. But I love it because it goes beast mode. It's one of my absolute favorite fragrances in my collection. It's one of the fragrances I always talk about. If you're looking to start a niche fragrance collection, you should start with Mansara. And we're talking about this one right here, Red Tobacco. My wife's just not a fan. I love it. And what a letdown because I love the dry down. It is absolutely intoxicating. Let's spray it real quick and tell you why she doesn't like it. <laughs> This fragrance right here is an absolute flamethrower, and I can feel my nose tingling right now as we speak. Right away, you get a blast of cinnamon. You really, really smell that cinnamon right away. And then that saffron and the oud, it's like this thing is just a flamethrower in a bottle. It is so strong, and that oud mixed with the tobacco on the top can be somewhat medicinal. I think my wife once told me it kind of reminded her of a lip balm that we use here in the States, and for all my watchers overseas. I don't know if you have this in your stores, but it's called Carmex and it's a chapstick. And she said this kind of reminded her of that. And so she didn't like it. I will admit it is a little medicinal. It is a little strong on the top, but once you get past that, the apple, the booziness, the cinnamon, the vanilla, the tobacco are all absolutely intoxicating to me. But I pick and choose when I wear this because my wife just doesn't like it. So for that reason, it made the list. All right, so a lot of these fragrances I brought up, I'd say the Paco Rabanne fragrance and Mansara are for winter. Toy Boy you can wear in the spring and maybe even into the summer as well. But let's talk about a couple freshies. Well, everybody loves a good freshie, right? You know, women tend to love freshies. That's what I hear anyways, on, you know, from some of you guys. But uh, here's one freshie that I just talked about in one of my last videos that my wife just cannot stand. And it's this one from Bulgaria called Aqua Atlantique. Now, I love this fragrance. I love the shape of it. I love the fact that the atomizer is built in. And it's got a good atom atomizer. Man, I love, love, love this fragrance. 
This fragrance right here reminds me of Dylan Blue by Versace, but just got some aquatic sea notes in here, and that's where the fragrance goes wrong for my wife because the aquatic notes are almost photorealistic. They kind of have that salty, kind of fishy-like scent in them. I don't really detect that, but my wife Sniffer does, and she just doesn't like that C accord in this. There's some water notes. It's just a gorgeous fragrance, but my wife doesn't like it. And I think this fragrance works so well in the heat, and I think it's getting harder and harder to find this fragrance. There's some rumors that they might be discontinuing that. Is that true? Let me know down in the comments below if they are discontinuing this one. But love this fragrance. It's sweet. It's beautiful. And it has a gorgeous opening. But my wife just does not like that aquatic sea note that's in this. So for that reason, it made the list. I like it. And I know a lot of you guys do too. All right. Last but not least, out of all the ones I've talked about, this is my favorite. And you're going to see. I'm going to be able to prove it to you by when you look at the dent. This one makes me the most sad. And I'm going to tell you what. It's okay because I'm going to get a backup bottle. I wear it to work when she's not around me and I spray this thing. There's a fragrance screw out there I think called 14 sprays. I spray this way more than 14 sprays and that's why there's such a big dent in it. But it's this one right here called Nautica Voyage. Absolutely love, love, love this fragrance. It's very, very cheap. You can get this for $20 or under depending on where you look. You can find it in all the rack stores. You can find it in all the big box stores. You can find it on discounters for a really good price. Nautica Voyage is just so fresh. It's so aquatic. It has this cucumbery vibe going on with it. it. Just reminds me of a nice shower gel that just smells so intoxicating and so smooth. And I love this fragrance. It just works for me. It doesn't last that long. I think I get like four hours on my skin and then it kind of goes away. It's perfect for the spring and summertime. But my wife hates this fragrance and her biggest complaint is is that it smells synthetic and i'm like well what does that mean what does smelling synthetic mean and the only way she knew how to describe it is is it has like this metallic almost like you know just it just has this metallic scent that she just doesn't like she said it just doesn't smell as natural as some of the other fragrances that i wear and um i don't know i don't pick up on that i really like it it's one of my favorite fragrances so I don't wear it around her that much. And if I do wear it, she smells it immediately. And she's like, wash that off. Go wash that off. <laughs> so we've had a few discussions about this one. One of the fragrances that I absolutely love that I think everybody should start a collection with on my list that I think is absolutely intoxicating that my wife just doesn't like. So there you have it, guys. What are some fragrances that you have bought that you just, you did your homework, you listened to your favorite YouTuber, they told you to go buy it, and you were like, you brought it home, you were so proud, and then your, your significant other, your wife, your missus, whatever the case may be, boyfriend, girlfriend, just didn't like it. And, uh, you know, they weren't, they weren't feeling it. Have you ever worn, by the way, have you guys ever worn a fragrance out? Um, I had this happen to me the other day, and somebody not like your fragrance, they actually complained. I was wearing Terre de Hermes the other day, and I actually got a complaint from somebody and uh, it was the first time that that ever happened. So has that ever happened to you guys? You wore a fragrance and somebody absolutely complained about it. Let me know down in the comments which one it was. So there you have it, five fragrances my wife just didn't like. She couldn't stand them. And I'd like to know what are some of yours down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for making the Scott Aramanico channel such a success, guys. I'm almost there. I think I'm like 30 away from 2000, 30 away from 2000. And I'm gonna do a special giveaway for you guys. I'm not going to team up with anybody. I'm going to buy quite a few bottles of fragrances on my own with my own money. As soon as I get back from my birthday trip, I'm going to Vegas June 1st. As soon as I get back from that trip, we're going to do a giveaway. I'm going to buy like two or three fragrances, give them away to you guys with my, out of my own pocket, just to, so you know how much I care when we hit 2,000, guys. And I think I might even make it international for y'all. But anyways, just keep on watching. Stay tuned. The giveaway is coming. I'm almost to 2,000. I'm going to do a special giveaway to you guys. And uh, yeah, so big things are coming. I'm going to turn 50, you know, June 2nd. I'm almost at 2,000. So guys, help me get there. Help me celebrate my birthday by subscribing to the channel. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notifications off to the side. If you got any value whatsoever from today's video, leave a thumbs up and share the video with your friends and family. And I'll see you guys next time. I hope wherever you are, wherever you're located in this world, I hope you're at peace and happiness. Know I care about you. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.
love. Ciao.